Here's a good one, 2003 Forrester Outback, 2.5 liter Cayman, crank no start, treble code P130, I think, cam position sensor. Uh, first thing I did was look to see if we had any cross contamination of oil and coolant, none in here, which doesn't mean anything since uh, oil pressure is more than coolant pressure. Uh, giveaway here, I noticed I pulled this, a little bit of oil, so that doesn't look good oil on actually this, so oil went through the spark plug. On the 2.5, you got an inspection cover, it's three 10 millimeter bolts. You can actually look at the timing belt. Oh, it doesn't look good, does it? Definitely cause that crank no start. So you can see that belt going. It's got 220,000 miles. It does look like this thing's been touched before. Obviously, just even just that bolt there for the inspection cover was removed. That wasn't me. So there's three 10 millimeter bolts to remove that, which is kind of cool. So look at your timing belt. And then another giveaway. <laughs> Some issues is look at all the oil here. We've got oil coming out the head gasket, and we got coolant. Oil and coolant on this side, and it looks like it's sprayed back here. So this one doesn't really require any further diagnosis. We got a busted timing belt, blown head gasket on that side and um, a little bit of leak in here not I don't see any coolant there but anyway I think this one is a is a goner it's not worth uh, doing any work to to this one we could salvage it but not at 220,000 miles and you could get a JDM motor um, for less than the labor time to mess with this and that doesn't include uh, removal and an installation but there she is so a uh, a P code is uh, is not gonna tell you what's going on when you got mechanical failure I mean it'll lead you into the right direction but you can see here got a head gasket and a timing belt and again this is with the inspection cover removed there's three screws I removed this and it looked like um, see there with the damage on where that bolt is that this has been messed with before well there she is a Subaru no-go